Now, I want to draw your attention to uh, the fact that at the moment we've only been dealing with um, monoprotic acids. So that's um, hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, and also, as you saw, nitrous acid. But some acids, and this is very important when you're looking at, um, for example, uh, phosphate buffered saline solutions uh, within uh, medical practice and so forth, is that you can lose more than one proton. And therefore, it's possible to have more than one Ka value for each successive deprotonation reaction. Successive removals become more difficult as the molecule therefore bears a greater charge and pKa values as a consequence get smaller. So let's have a look at phosphoric acid here. Phosphoric acid, that's H3PO4, when reacting with water, yields uh, oxonium, H3O+, and a phosphate anion, hydrogen phosphate anion. And the Ka in this first case is actually reasonably high. 7.1 times 10 to the minus 3. However, successive deprotonations until we eventually uh, result in the loss of all hydrogens and only the phosphate remains is a bit more difficult to achieve, giving us a Ka value or Ka3 for the third deprotonation of 4.3 times 10 to the minus 13. Polyprotic acids are often used in buffer solutions, and certainly uh, when you're looking at trying to mimic um, a, um, a plasma or um, the uh, natural pH and natural salt concentrations um, for a, a given biological system, you would often use phosphates in your buffer. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions, customized to USMLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.